Welcome now, everyone, to the 12th chapter to the book of Revelation. Yes, we are diving into deeper truth yet. For the Lord is with us, we are blessed, we have his word before us, and we have this opportunity to grow together in fellowship, in one spirit, one mind, one accord, through the bond of the spirit being unity through peace. Let us grow today, family, and hear what the Lord is saying to each of us specifically here and now. Chapter 12, verse 1, the Lord states, And a great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. And she was with child, and she cried out, being in labor and in pain to give birth. Verse 3, And another sign appeared in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, dragon having seven heads and ten horns, and on his heads were seven diadems. And his tail swept away a third of the stars of heaven, and threw them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman who was about to give birth, so that when she gave birth, he might devour her child. Verse 5, and she gave birth, pardon me, and she gave birth to a son, a male child, who is to rule all the nations with a rod of iron, and her child was caught up to God and to his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she had a place prepared by God, so that there she might be nourished for 1,260 years days. Verse 7, And there was war in heaven, Michael and his angels waging war with the dragon, and the dragon and his angels waged war, and they were not strong enough, and there was no longer a place found for them in heaven. And the great dragon was thrown down, the serpent of old, who is called the devil, and Satan, who deceives the world. He was thrown down to the earth, and his angels were thrown down with him. And I heard a loud voice in heaven saying, Now the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ have come. For the accuser of our brethren has been thrown down, who accuses them before our God day and night. And they overcame him because of the blood of the Lamb and because of the word of their testimony. And they did not love their life even to death. For this reason rejoice, O heavens and you who dwell in them. Woe to the earth and the sea because the devil has come down to you having great wrath knowing that he has only a short time. Verse 13. And when the dragon saw that he was thrown down to the earth, he persecuted the woman who gave birth to the male child. And the two wings of the great eagle were given to the woman in order that she might fly into the wilderness to her place where she was nourished for a time and a times and half a time from the presence of the serpent. Verse 15. And the serpent poured water like a river out of his mouth after the woman, so that he might cause her to be swept away with the flood. And the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened its mouth and drank up the river which the dragon poured out of his mouth. And the dragon was enraged with the woman, and went off to make war with the rest of her offspring, who keep the commandments of God, and hold to the testimony of Jesus." Amen. Those 17 verses is the 12th chapter wrapped up together in a wonderful power-packed truth to be embedded into our hearts, people. This is wonderful, friends and family. 
I pray that we are growing. I pray that we are gleaning. I pray that we are receiving tonight or today or wherever we may be at whatever time it may be, the goodness of God here in the land of the living, that we are knowing him and growing closer. For as it is written in that last verse, he said, and the dragon was enraged with the woman and went off to make war with the rest of her offspring who keep the commandments of God and hold to the testimony of Jesus. Are we keeping the commandments of God by the Spirit of Almighty God? And are we holding to the testimony of Jesus? Is our faith embedded in us as not just a faith of the unseen, but a knowledge of the true God living? Let it be so, for this will be the testing ground and the, the true placement of where we stand on the day of Christ's return. For verse 11 states, And they overcame him because of the blood of the Lamb and because of the word, the word of their testimony. And they did not love their life even to the death. Are we overcome with the blood of the Lamb? Is Jesus' sacrifice our all in all? Do we know that we are right with God through Jesus? Are we being sanctified as we speak? Are we growing today? Are we hungering for more of God? Are we thirsting for more righteousness? Are we holding to the word of our testimony and not loving our lives even to the death? Are we standing with Jesus are we bearing the reproach outside? Are we knowing that God's approval of us is greater than man's? Do we love God more than man, but yet love man through the love of God? What a great paradox. What a great mystery. What a great love. What a great truth. As we see God is working to restore us to himself through Jesus Christ, his son. For we know that the woman is that of Christ's bride as well as that of the church. We see so much in this truth that there is so much to grow from in the symbolism of prophecy. I'm sure all of us here have learned a great deal of the book of Revelation and have heard much spoken on about the book of Revelation. Yet, I will not speak of anything I am uncertain of, but the understanding is to continue to grow, to continue to ask, to continue to seek, to continue to knock on the door of God as he is knocking on our hearts. May we let him in to teach us today as his spirit is the revealer of all truth. For we know that he is sovereign and that he is the way, the truth, the life in Christ and that he is our answer and that he is the one that's getting us in, that he is the one that is going to give us his victory. For the victory is won at the cross, but yet we have our own cross to carry, our own cross to bear. Let us be crucified with Christ and risen and hidden in the heavenly places to walk forward even on this side of heaven and to fight for the people of God and to fight for those blinded by the enemy's uh, uh, missiles of bombarding, of lies, of a flood. For we see God... God has sent his spirit as a standard against him. Let us be diligent in the Lord's work in this last day, my friends and family. For time is short. Satan has come upon the earth, and we see there is many of a deception going out among mankind. But let us stand with God and his truth in Christ Jesus and speak that truth into the lives of others and live it out through the spirit of God. We'll talk to you in the 13th chapter, 13th and 14th chapter together around the bend. We love you here at Eternity Through Christ, and we pray that you're staying strong in the Lord's spirit, by the Lord's will, through the Lord's grace and mercy. Peace, grace, and mercy be unto you in Christ Jesus, the sovereign Lord and King. We'll see you here soon. Amen.